Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Hey, Welcome hey. to the morning workout. Hello. With, with the lovely <laughs> Laura. The million dollar plumber. All right, up before the sun to get it done. Mm -hmm. Got another one, good one on here. Yep. Hey, speaking of up before the sun to get it done. Yes. Did you see one of our, uh, one, one, one of, of our, our private coaching clients? Yes. We're not going to name his name. Um, he can certainly out himself if you'd like, but. I am so, um, I, I, just, I don't know if it'll sound creepy or not. I, I, I don't care. Well, that's a man's man. That is, he is a man's I, man. I'm, I'm, um, that, that's fully my, impressed. Right. I am impressed. Um, I, that speaks into my life mm -hmm. because here's yes. a guy, he's, he's older than 50. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just barely. Just barely older mm -hmm. than 50. Mm -hmm. And he did a couple things already. Two that, firsts. That are, that's really uncomfortable. Unco uncomfortable. Right. And you got to do the uncommon things to be, um, uncommon? to be, uh, to, yeah, to achieve uncommon, to, mm -hmm. you know, great, those kinds of things. Okay. Everyone's out there doing the same stuff. Right. Okay? That's true. So doing and that's stuff, easy. That, that's doing easy. Doing the same stuff. Going through McDonald's drive through for lunch, um, sleeping in, staying uh, up late on the scroll hole. Netflix. Right. You know, Netflix. Netflix. And, that's so easy. It is so easy. That's not, so not easy. Not there's anything wrong with that. Not well, doing much, okay. But, so you always say that. Yes, there is something wrong with well, that if you do that all, all the time. All the time. Right. There's something. But to do that every now and then, obviously nothing wrong that's with right. it. But if that becomes your life and your norm and the common. And that's why that's guys wrong. will wonder, you know, you get into life and, you know, is this all there is? And that's why mm -hmm. there's not enough to fill the the void, you know. and Empty. Right. And guys wind up hole. doing some pretty bad things, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you know, anyway, so yes. I just love, here he did a couple of these things. What did he do? He did Tell a live, he did okay, it, he, which we talk with our private clients, coaching clients, that's very important. Mm -hmm. He did a Facebook um, live, Facebook, which you know, we right. encourage our private coaching and, clients to do, right? Right, and there's a reason for that, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into that here. Right. Um, and it's a way to separate your business from the other businesses, but, mm -hmm. um, and he started working out. Started working out. Okay. Now, over the age of 50. Over the, which is a tremendously difficult thing to do. <laughs> We know. Okay, but realizing, hey, I, I don't like carrying these extra pounds, and I want to be fit. I want to live this, you know, freedom lifestyle. Right, uh, building this business that right. I want to be able to enjoy the and, benefits of. And the thing, so, and to do that, mm -hmm. okay, where most everyone, mm -hmm. all the other guys find excuses why right. they can't, what, what yeah, they're always. doing. Right. And they're excuses, they're not reasons. Right, well, I, I, I work late, or I'm just tired, blah, or I gotta get, you know, blah, I gotta get on this job this blah, morning, blah, 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 blah. It's excuses, little boy excuses, mm -hmm. you know. And so the fact that he did that, which reminds me, you remember when we were on that, uh, you know, one of those, one of our trips mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Okay. And there, there was this couple, obviously older, they're in their 60s, mm -hmm. okay, but. Billy and Pamela. I remember this day. <laughs> other people recognized them at the, they they're were. older than us. Right. By they 10 were, years. They were fit. Now they looked, I mean, to be old, I mean, obviously you can, you, you know. You could tell they were old, older. Right. They didn't look 20. Right. But. Mm -hmm. But. Fit. He was fit, chiseled. <laughs> Chisel. He was amazing. He was like, man. Mm -hmm. Well, we struck up. Um, they 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 wind up striking up a really uh, um, conversation. A conversation with us and talking mm -hmm. with them. Turns out that I love this, and this is what helped really get me focused on mm -hmm. it. He had just turned fifty, mm -hmm. and they were sitting in bed. See if this sounds familiar, guys. Right. Sitting in bed, mm -hmm. watching some crappy whatever the normal TV, Netflix, whatever, right. eating wings and chips. <laughs> you know, they had their little chip dip stuff or whatever at okay. night. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. and they were successful. I mean, they yeah. had, had a business mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Right. And they were just feeling they were fat. I mean, he just said, "I'm I was fat." Fat. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to. How you know? They're feeling wind, all the things we talk about feeling windy and all that. Right. Healthy. They have a grandkid. They wanted to um, play with the grandchild. Right, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so he said, "I just started. They, they stopped that mm -hmm. eating at night like that, right. and started working out." Now he went, and they never worked out before. And never worked out before. They right. say it never worked out before. It wasn't even something they did when they were in younger lives. It right. wasn't part of their lifestyle. And uh, he went. He got all. I mean, he really got got into it so much so that he. Um, Got a coach, um, um, bodybuilder coach, right? And he wanted just because he was afraid of doing it. We talk about this: doing something that you're afraid to do outside right. your norm, right? And uh, he wanted to compete in a bodybuilding competition, so he went and he looked. I mean, um, it great. It was amazing. And you know, most of he even finished third. Remember what he was proud of as a 50-some year old man mm -hmm. um, finished third in the competition amongst overall with younger men. Right. In the body, in body building. Right. Okay.
okay? Now, he said it was weird, you know, it was, you know, it, it changed his lifestyle. I mean, he had to, I mean, it, he did something different. I mean, it was outside the norm of what all of his other normal friends were doing right. and all that kind of stuff. Cause more and he was uncomfortable. Friends, right. And he said, you know, his wife was there, you know, they had to learn to pose and you got to do a little, you know, that With kind of stuff. little speedo. Which, you know, he, he was a trades <laughs> guy, by the way. Yeah. Um, and owned a trade company. Um, and so he did a little speedo and all that kind of stuff. He said, right. I felt weird about all that. He went all But I in. did it. Mm -hmm. And you could tell that they had a different presence about them. They were younger up here mm -hmm. than we were at, you know, this is a club, um, a place here. Well, we have a first responder here. Okay, we're stopping. Yep. And mm -hmm. uh, for everything's okay with, with those folks. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he went all in. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could tell in their attitudes now, even though they were in their 60s, they had a young, you know, vibe, vibe, vibe um, you know, there's an presence, energy about energy. them, a presence. Mm -hmm. um, young people were attracted to them. Yeah. I mean, as far as just wanting to be around them and they were fun and, and they were very faith-based too. That mm -hmm. was what that's opened up, which we had conversations about that. They felt that with us as well mm -hmm. in this environment. Normally we don't talk about those kinds of things and, you know, you know, and, but, you know. But, Brand new, meet somebody in a pool in Jamaica. Right, but I was interested in his, um, you know, I was open to his faith story mm -hmm. and, and how, you know, his walk with uh, walk with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I I respected him for what he'd done, right. you know, because mm -hmm. I know it's difficult to do. Very difficult so, to do. So, to our um, private coaching client, you know who you are. Man, brother. So, so impressed. Just yep. the... And that's also coachable because we've been kind of coaching that with our private coaching clients and on Potty Talk Live and other places, you know, to keep your body moving and, and all those things. And, you know, some people are like, okay, whatever. But, man, he took it to heart and he said, I don't want to be, you know, older and can't move and knees don't right. work and feel overweight. Right. So, yeah, he totally went outside his comfort zone and did it. So, way to go. Way to go. You know who you are. Right. Our hats are off to you. All right. Respect. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's, that's real respect. Mm -hmm. So for you other guys out there, all right, hey. It's never too late. Ne never too late. And there's never um, there's never um, enough excuses. Right. Right. And Sometimes there's reasons, but most yeah. of the time it's excuses. Yeah, you can't, uh, you know, the body's going to be, um, you know, I, I can't throw around the weights like I was mm -hmm. in my tents when I was younger. You just, you got to work up to that. I'm back in my, well, some ways, I'm stronger. You're definitely um, stronger than you were 20 years ago. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, you got to work up to that yeah. and that kind of a thing. So, really, really all right, guys, hey, do that. It's all mm -hmm. part of the um, hey freedom lifestyle. The, free, the freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. it, it, it matters. You know, I, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that. But you know, you weren't born overweight and weren't created to be overweight. Um, you know, it's just <laughs> uh, it's just don't succumb to that. Right. Okay. Get healthy because you're gonna right. get old like us one day. Right. <laughs> And you created, you know, you cre working on this asset, working, the, you know, this business. Hey, you want to have fun. Right. Okay. Right. Go have the fun. The best is yet to come. <laughs> All right. So there. Okay. There, there we have it here. No Potty Talk Live tonight. There was last night. It was really good. You did a great job. And then tomorrow night we have Larry and Wright, the boss. And All right. Dallas. Sky boss. Sky boss is in the house tomorrow night. So join us there. All right. Okay. Check it out. So. Okay. All right. Hey, if you hit your day, mm -hmm. you're uh, still in the truck. All right, why? All right, let's get out of the truck, man. Get your butt out okay, of the but truck. Okay, but if you are, okay, plumb safe. As always, plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.